Okay, so I probably spent longer than I should have going over like some of the differences that I found between like Google's Android 12 and oh, the stuff in Calyx, but I guess that's okay. <laughs> so the other thing is um, there are a few like apps that come in that's pretty much pre-installed by default and so that's kind of what these are basically in this folder is the pre-installed default ones that you'll get with oh calyx os without like any er intervention or installing anything extra and so of course there's the settings app so i think we've gone over that pretty thoroughly um the next one is your calculator um Pretty standard, oh, calculator app, really? I think if anybody with a smartphone has had a calculator on their phone for like the last decade plus. So yeah. Oh, the other one that's pretty standard is calendar. So one thing I found cool is it doesn't quite look like a regular, oh, Android calendar app, that's because it's based on ETAR calendar, and which is a calendar that I've pretty much used for the last few years because of the way that it functions. So you can see that I have my stuff set up to start on Monday, because since my mission I've basically gotten used to planning things with like Monday is the first day and then Sunday on the last day of the week in planners. So. That's basically how it's gone. The week view is actually pretty good. I don't have any events in it for it. And then the day agenda thing. I generally use the week one mostly because I can see what's going on every day. So when I add something, the interface is kind of pretty clear. I don't have any calendars set up in here because I've been trying to. So if you've got, thank you for focusing, if you've got, oh, Google Calendars installed, it'll show up in here, or any Google Calendar capable thing. Um, I tried getting it, my Google Calendar set up in CalDAV, but I haven't quite been able to. It pulls um, CardDAV data, but not CalDAV data, so I don't know why. But I found the proper base URL for it. But if you were using it, you'd see like the stretch and everything else there. So yeah, um, you can set up your own offline calendars. So actually, let's do that. Phone local. Yeah, local. That that's fine. So we can go and we can add that. So it, we select which one we want there. We add the event name like test. And then we can select our time. It does the whole Android dial thing. And then busy or available, default. Do we want it public, whatever, confidential. We can set reminders, and then we can add a reminder and have multiple if we want to. So we can set repeats forever or until, come on. Repeat weekly forever or until a certain date. So I've done this with a couple events. So like if I were to look at my regular calendar, I have like streaming set up on like certain days of the week that it repeats like that and then it just goes on forever until I decide to delete it and then when you want to delete an event that repeats you have the option of deleting future events or just that one in particular. So we can go to today and it does do the like little progressive red line gray out thing. So the next one that comes default on it is a camera app. I think it's based on open camera, which the can it's actually not that bad, really. So it does video 
Um, I do like to have my grid lines, as you can see, kind of gives me a guide to help with stuff. And then we can just stop it. And we can go back to camera. And it takes a second to take a picture. So you've got your settings. It doesn't have that many settings, but we can flip it around, turn our grid lines off or on, turn on HDR mode, flash, timer. Let me go back to the video. And it's kind of got the same deal here grid lines, flash, selfie camera. So these are our settings. We can set the resolution in here. Do we want to save location to it? No, of course not. Manual exposure. We've got some fine-grained control to it, but not that much as other apps would. So our files app is a standard Google one, not very functional except for like a couple things like it'll show like any other phones that you have connected there. Other than that, it's like since there's no SD card slot in it, it's yeah, just there. Um, the firewall is a cool one that isn't really on any other one. So what it lets you do is you can come in and like put certain limitations on certain apps. So like if you don't want certain apps um, using mobile data, then you can turn that off or turn it on. Or if you want them to not use VPN data when you're connected using one of the VPNs, then that's an option. But yeah, and then you can allow or disallow network, background network access. So yeah. So gallery, pretty, I think pretty standard photos app. I mean, I haven't installed Simple Gallery because this basically is pretty similar. So, lets you do stuff, albums, videos, you can sort it all out there. So music is a simple music app. Um, I still have a different music app installed, a player for certain other things. But yeah, I'll switch between the two depending on what I want. Because one is set for some things, another for the other. So this is the Micro G stuff. I do have Google Safety Net on for like banking, obviously, for certain things. Um, we do, it does do cloud messaging. Um, you can add Google accounts and certain apps like email apps can detect those accounts and you can pull your email that way. There are other things that won't detect it, like Google Play Games. So they don't have... So if you're one of those people that has a few games that you bought from the Google Play Store, then, yeah, it's not going to work that well. Um, clock is standard clock app. You can set alarms, customize alarms, that kind of a thing. Then your recorder is... Just a plain old voice recorder. I know the Lineage OS recorder is both a screen recorder and a sound recorder. So you do have some control and then like playback for stuff. I haven't allowed anything to happen with this. So I didn't know it reacted like that. And then F-Droid, you, I think everybody's used F-Droid that, you know, looks at this. Chromium is um, based on Bromite. So it's got some hardened security tweaks to it. But so it's basically just Bromite. And that's what Talix uses for their web view is um, in essence Bromite. So backup is for backing up your phone, gives you a code to write down and that you should not probably not show on camera um, if you want to keep your sanity, but yes. So the next few, so you've got contacts, which is kind, basically your standard contacts app. Um, syncs pretty well with oh, your Google stuff. You've got emergency information, so you can add your stuff there for like when people steal your phone and need to get stuff. You've got your blah, blah, blah stuff here. And then, yeah, I haven't installed Simple Contacts because, again, 
basically, oh, does a lot of what I need it to. It does keep track of, oh, who has signal and whatnot too, so it can detect that. So if you prefer to call someone over signal, it will do that. The dialer will do the same thing. Let me go through. So the phone dialer does the same thing. If you go into a contact and they're on signal, it'll give you the option. Do you want to call via signal or your norm normal stuff? So you've got your contacts list and whatnot. And supposedly this is supposed to have a oh, voicemail, but I haven't seen any lick or hide of it. You've also got your helplines that will not show up in the call logs if you use them, which, depending on your situation, is very, very helpful. And then your settings, so you can change and set stuff up and things like that, quick responses, and what all, voicemail, all the default apps that come on it, standard, I believe. At least most of them. So one thing I do need to add is I didn't go over the Messages app. That's basically a pretty standard texting app, Android, stock, whatever default in the non-Googled Android. So I, that's about the only one that I forgot. If you've used a texting app, it's pretty much the same thing. It's Got nothing special to it. Doesn't even have scheduled texting, so that's kind of what disappointed me. And that's why I have QKSMS installed. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Algorithm really seems to like that, and it actually helps it get directly out to more people. And you can even join the chat and interact when I'm not online or what have you in discord gilded xmpp and check out my my streaming stuff links are all in the description places and i will see you guys later